We need to talk more about insects. Specifically, what is the vegan position on insects? Which sounds like an easy answer, right? Vegan means no animals, no animal products. Insects are animals, so therefore, eating insects, killing insects is not vegan. I think it's a bit more complex than that. The point of being vegan for me, and I think for most ethical vegans, is to reduce suffering. This is why I'm against eating animals, particularly factory farmed animals. It causes unnecessary pains. On the other hand, I'm definitely pro eating plants because plants cannot feel pain. So the real question is, what animals feel pain? We're pretty sure that other vertebrates like ourselves do, and even some invertebrates like cephalopods, but what about insects? Studies have shown that they do, some insects do have a sort of nociception-like response as far as avoidance or escape, such as a fruit fly larva rolling away from a hot pen. So it seems that nociception or something like it is possible in at least some insects. Uh, we grow both conventional and organic uh, certified blueberries. And uh, to some extent, the operations are very similar. Um, we use fungicides, fertilizers, and insecticides. And insecticides in, in both operations. Uh, the big difference is the source of the chemical. And uh, when it's certified as organic, it has to be a naturally occurring organic compound. And in our conventional operation, it's interesting because a lot of the uh, different chemicals uh, that we will use in conventional are really just synthetic versions of the uh, organic compounds that we use in our, in our organic uh, operations. Well, we grow organic vegetables as well as conventionally grown vegetables. Um, the, I think what people need to understand is that we do use pesticides on organic vegetables as well. We do use pesticides on organic vegetables as well. They're just, uh, we're allowed to use certain pesticides on them that are derived naturally. Um, also, the rate at which we then use those on the organic crops is that have actually much higher volume and oftentimes more applications than we actually do on the conventional side more applications than we actually do on the conventional side. Um, I, I, the, we just wouldn't be able to produce enough crops really to feed everybody if we were organically growing and not using any pesticides. It's impossible to know if any being outside of our own selves experiences pain. You know, obviously we're, we're pretty sure that humans do and also pretty sure that other vertebrates do, as I said earlier, uh, because of how they act after um, experiencing something harmful. Warning, this video contains disturbing images of giant Chernobyl cockroaches and deadly redback spiders. Testing out one of these sprays here, painted to technology, whatever that means. Give it a good shake, that's very important. We're going to come in and give Mrs. Cockroach a one kangaroo spray, just like I did with that redback spider. Okay, here we go. One kangaroo. Let's just see how long it takes for that cockroach to be immobilized. You think that cockroach has got much life left in it? That cockroach is looking like it's in a lot of trouble there. In terms of what we are able to measure, a shaken honeybee is no less anxious than a lonely dog or a rat in a barren cage. Because we don't know for sure whether or not insects feel pain, it behooves us to treat them as though they do. Because if we don't, and it turns out that we're wrong and they do experience pain, that's a lot of unnecessary suffering. I don't know if insects suffer, but that's good enough for me to treat them as though they do.